now let us uh, uh, come to our main objective which is how to find reaction now the first is my cantilever this is the one of the most easiest okay so it has one fixed support it has one fixed support and no other support other end is free this end is known as free this end is free and this is my fixed support so i will be applying all the three equation at fixed support and find the reaction it is one of the easiest i feel most of you will be comfortable with this so i will do it in a very fast way clear so let us see this is uh, given uh, 10 kN vertical and 10 kN horizontal then what will be the reaction clear so if you apply summation v equal to 0 then uh, i am treating uh, um, the reaction as upward so it will be my positive as i discuss in the first video so ra will be positive minus 10 equal to 0 so this gives ra is equal to 10 clear the what will be summation h equal to 0 so what uh, i assume uh, this ha in this direction so that can i can put plus positive so ha is positive plus 10 equal to 0 so ha comes out to be minus 10 it means that ha is in opposite direction to what i have assumed and the value is 10 i am doing it very fast because i know that you can understand these things very easily now what will be the moment so the total moment at this point is 10 into 2 and that to clockwise clockwise is my positive so plus so 20 is the moment coming so what will be the resistance given by the fixed end it will be anti clockwise 20 clear so what will be the reaction it will be 10 10 and 20 in anti clockwise direction clear let us take the next question it is also a simple question so what will be the total vertical force coming total vertical force coming is 20 so what will be the reaction it will be 20 upward what is the horizontal force coming it is zero so this reaction will be zero now what is the moment coming moment coming is 10 into 2 plus 10 into 3 so it is 50 clockwise so what will be the moment moment will be 50 anti clockwise clear so this is a, a simple uh, question uh, now let us take another problem now this is the point which i want to discuss now if you see this then what you will see there is a udl udl of 6 kN meter uh, of length 6 meter now i will use the theory which i applied uh, in my first video or i uh, try to explain you so what is that you convert this udl into the point load what will be that that will be the 36 kN how we get we get equal it is area which is 6 into 6 36 which will be applied at the cg so cg is 3 meter 3 meter clear now now it is very easily easily solvable so what will be my reaction my reaction will be 36 no horizontal force so this will be zero what will be the moment moment given by this third by this 36 is 36 into uh, 3 which is 108 clockwise so what will be ma ma will be 108 anti clockwise so simple so how i able to do it i was able to do this thing by conversion of udl to the point load similarly if you see i am doing this question clear i will be converting this varying distributed load into the point load so what will i do the area so what is my area my area is 10 into 6 divided by 
30 it will be applied at center of gravity so center of gravity will be 6 by 3 from here and which is 2 and this will be 4 now it becomes simple okay so this is 30 so this will be 30 uh, no horizontal force so horizontal reaction will be 0 and uh, how much moment it is given it is giving 120 moment so what will be the moment given by the fixed end it will be 120 in anti-clockwise direction clear so it becomes very simple by just uh, converting the VDL into the point load now let us take one more question which is this now you can do it by two ways uh, I have done it here by directly applying the uh, uh, formula for center of gravity and area of trapezoid but uh, what I taught you in the first class you can make it two clear so let us do it as I explained you both are correct so if you do it by two then um, two is the UDL and what is the intensity of uh, triangular loading it will be also 2 clear so what is the area of uh, UDL it will be 6 into 2 applied at center of gravity so it is 12 3 meter and 3 meter plus let us make one more cantilever which is this triangle okay so what is its intensity its intensity is 2 and what is the area of triangle area of triangle is half 2 into 2 2 2 cancel so this is 2 is it okay just uh, wait this is 4 uh, 6 into 2 12 uh, sorry uh, sorry uh, I just make one mistake this is 6 is it okay the length is 6 so half half cancel out so this becomes 6 sorry is it okay now if you see uh, where it will be applied one third of 6 so what is one third of 6 it is 2 meter so 2 meter and this is 4 meter so if you see what will be my reaction it will be 18 because uh, for uh, let us do it uh, more systemic um, systematically I was just running very fast uh, so let us do it more systematically so what is the reaction by this this is 12 what is the reaction by this this is 6 so what is the total downward reaction total downward reaction will be 12 plus 6 equal to 8 is it okay now what is the moment moment for by this is uh, clockwise so the reaction moment will be anti-clockwise and it will be 36 is it okay and uh, what uh, I will get from here I will get it from here as a 6 into 4 24 is it okay so how much is the total moment I get 36 plus 24 which is 60 clear so 60 is the moment now if you check it by the direct I get 59.94 because of uh, uh, accuracy I have done it only by 2 so it is just a nearby 60 clear so either you can use the direct formula or you can use the uh, dividing formula in which I divide the for, divide the tri uh, trapezoid into one UDL and one triangular I repeat again how to do it so let us again do it so what it says it says that uh, this is my total uh, UDL area will be how much 6 into 12 uh, sorry 6 into 2 12 is it okay and what will be my triangular area will be this is the remaining area so this is my remaining area so what is this this will be half of 2 into 6 so which is 6 where I will apply this I will apply this at the center of gravity of this triangle so this is uh, 6 by 3 which is 2 and this is 4 is it okay clear so now uh, I have two cantilevers you find uh, the reaction and uh, movement of both the cantilever and then add them clear that uh, that will give you the same thing as we have got it here
is it okay since the loading is downward so it will be giving giving me the movement in a uh, uh, anti clockwise direction so if you see i have put minus here what minus sign is showing that this is not anti clockwise but this is clockwise this is just a way of expressing that you can put it uh, in anti clockwise direction also but then you put minus which shows that it is in the reverse of your sign convention clear now take one more example now let us say a inclined load is coming okay of 10 kilo newton what i will do i will resolve it so it be uh, so i will having vertical uh, force as 10 cos sin theta and horizontal force as 10 cos theta so what will be my reaction in this direction it will be 10 cos theta which is 10 cos 60 this is downward so this is will be upward which is 8.66 and what will be my movement movement is clockwise so my movement will be anti clockwise it will be anti clockwise and it will be 8.66 into 2 very simple now take one complex problem which seems to be very complex but uh, by method of uh, the <coughs> point load we will solve it very simply now let us say there are lots of forces are coming okay what i will do i will convert each of the load into point load so this is triangular loading of intensity 6 and length is 3 clear this is my length and this is my intensity so what will be the total load it will be half of 3 into 6 which is it uh, which is uh, 9 so this is my 9 where it will be applied it will be applied 1 meter from this point is it okay or 2 meter from the this distance 2 meter so I have applied it at 2 meter now I have a UDL of 4 meter span is it okay and 10 kilo Newton intensity so what is the value of UDL it is 40 kilo Newton is it okay where it will be applied it will be applied at 2 meter from this distance at center of gravity so what is the total distance it will be 3 meter plus 2 meter so you get it as 5 clear now there is a 10 kilo newton inclined load so if you get the resolve then what it will be it will be 10 sin 30 which is 5 it is applied at the same distance is it okay just below this and a horizontal component of 10 cos 30 and one movement at the edge which is 20 now if you see what is the total vertical force total uh, sorry total vertical what is the total vertical force upward is positive so 9 plus 5 minus 40 so minus 36 is the total vertical force which means downward clear so total downward force is minus 36 so what will be the reaction so the reaction will be upward 36 now what is the total horizontal force in this direction it is 8.66 so what will be my reaction my reaction will be horizontal will be 8.66 in this direction now what is the total movement tell you again you take first force then right lever arm so 9 into 2 and then what is the direction it, the direction for this is it is anti-clockwise it is anti-clockwise so this is minus take 5 so right first load then what is the lever arm 5 is the lever arm what is the direction it is also anti-clockwise so put minus then what is the force 40 what is the lever arm 5 and what is the direction now for this load the direction is clockwise so it will be 50 clear now take the last one 8 8 uh, there will be no lever arm so it will be 0 so 8.66 into 0 now 20 it is a movement so no lever arm is required it is anti-clockwise so this let us place it plus and then minus 20 so how much i get minus 18 
माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस टू हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी इफ यू सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट एज वन थर्टी सेवन किलो न्यूटन क्लॉक वाइज सो वॉट विल बी माई रिएक्शन माई रिएक्शन विल बी वन थर्टी सेवन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज क्लियर सो दिस इज द वे फ्रेंड्स कैंटीलीवर कैन बी सॉल्व आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज इजी फॉर यू एंड यू विल नॉट हैव मच डिफिकल्ट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो पेशेंटली फील फ्री टू व्हाट्सएप मी ऑन दिस नंबर फॉर एनी डाउट और एक्सप्लेनेशन गिव्स योर थम्स अप इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल